And we're back. So, what are you doing tonight? <laughs> you, want, you want to know something interesting I found? What's that? So, you know, all that work that I did on Mars. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Getting that oxygen. Come check this out, though. Can you just pull oxygen? So... See, I, I wondered thinking... about that. I was wondering if you could just have, like, an oxygen collector that pulled oxygen. So you can. <laughs> you can just pull it and put it right into the, uh, the gaseous liquefiers and send it right on over to the barrel. Right. See, that's what I kept thinking about. Like, the, the other night when we were doing it, I was really tired. And I kept thinking to myself, because on, on Mars, like, it, it all kind of came together in my head. But, like, it didn't come together enough for me to say anything. Because I was like... Wait, he's collecting oxygen gas and something else, but we don't need the gas. The the because I, I originally it made sense because you we needed the rocket fuel. Right, and that's why I originally even went with that plan is because it left no waste. You pulled the oxygen, and the hydrogen, and you needed them both. But right. now that we don't need hydrogen anymore, I was like, wait a minute here. Yeah, I kept thinking, <laughs> I was like, this... wait, there's there's oxygen on Earth. Why are we? And then yeah, but yeah, yeah, and I, I always went back to well, we need the the rocket fuel. <laughs> Yeah. Though I'm not sure why I started doing it in the first place, doing this one that gets the liquid nitrogen as well, because that seems like a complete waste. Yeah, no, I don't I don't know why we did that. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Eventually those but, episodes will be out and people will say we're an idiot. But Well, and I guarantee I'm waiting for the comments to come in now because uh, I think we're about to get to this point in what's being shown of trying the oxygen thing. And this collects so much faster. Right. That it's just I everywhere. Think, I think it's sustainable. Because we're collecting a thousand every couple seconds, which is going to be at least one, you know, one cycle of a thousand in the, the cylinder through the Tesseract mm -hmm. is going to last you for 15, 20, 30 seconds, something like that. Right. So I think this actually will make it sustainable, and I bet we could do more if I make more gas liquefiers. If I just move the ones from Mars to here, yeah. I bet it would start dumping in, and we can probably have infinite oxygen anywhere we go. Sweet. Sweet. Um, so, <laughs> that's all. Yeah, all that wasted time and energy. Yeah. But it was it was a learning experience. What can I say? Right, right. That's that's it is what it is. I'm actually kind of glad that we're a little bit ahead on the episodes because because we can fuck around and mess up and learn on our own pace. Yes, very much so. People don't just tell us what it's supposed to be. Oops. Right, right. Um, I'm gonna take this thing, put it here. Uh, though I don't know. I don't know if I want to finish the oxygen and make it, like, sustainable ever. Because I, I don't want to do chocobo breeding until I have an oxygen supply that's going to be perfect for them. Right. Yeah, I've been I've been thinking about breeding. <laughs> you know, you know. You got the breeding on the brain? Yeah. Um, yeah, I was thinking about, uh, you know, starting starting here pretty soon. Doing, doing some... some uh, so some more space station stuff today. I don't, I don't mean I don't have anything else else planned, you know. Um, I did I did finally change uh, my setup over here to just send the uh, you know remember that bullshit I was doing over here with the um, the buckets and all that. I finally realized how to actually send the liquid because I knew that the cyclic summer could hold liquids, but I just I don't know. I guess I didn't understand how to use it in a crafting recipe. So I don't need all the buckets and everything. So I finally have this making enderium blend without the bucket cycle shit. I don't know if you even remember that. And, I, I mean, I, I saw it, and I didn't really understand it, so I just didn't say anything. Um, and you, if you remember last week at the Builder's oh, yeah. Wand thing, I kept trying to figure out what to pour on the Builder's Wand. I did mm -hmm. some more research on that, and it's <clears> – <throat> there's – in, in this mod pack, it's, it's way so different. Um, it's, uh, it, requires, it requires you to um, go to the end and do a bunch of bullshit, different – another ritual. Um, which <laughs> Are you going to have to sacrifice me again? Well, you know – a mob would have worked. I could have killed a bunny. It would have been fun. <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> um, but it was way more fun that way, right? Um, um, for you. <laughs> I wish she wasn't sure. I could have swore we killed Arcus, but um, we didn't. We just killed like a mob. So, I've actually been curious what's going on with um, the Ender Quarry out here. I know to see if it's actually doing anything crazy. It's still running. Still running. We're like, oh, what, shit. a month in of this thing running? It's now scanned 25 million blocks. 25 million. Um, but I noticed we were getting some fir uh, trees the other day. And I'm curious what the terrain looks like where where that used to be. Well, I mean, still the fir there. 
Hmm. Oh, the fir trees are in the uh, the um, tundra or whatever, right? Uh, I don't know what this biome's called. Let's see. Um, well, that says beach. Let me go a little bit further in. Temperate rainforest. Hey. Temperate. I don't know how far it's gone at this point. I'm trying to figure that out. Because I could have swore. I may have dreamed that. <laughs> this thing is... Well, <laughs> may, may not. Uh, okay, I can see it's gone through here. I don't think it's made it. I mean, it's definitely still still going strong, so it hasn't made it all the way over here, of course. Is this the liquid? Okay, there's the other liquid marker. Mars out. Oh. An empty O2 in. Oh my god, this is... Trying to figure out exactly how I'm going to get this thing set up with uh -huh. the gas electrolyzers from Mars. Because I actually had it cycling and working just fine. And it was uh, technically, even with the Mars setup, it was sustaining up here on Mars. Um, but it was only earning like 100 or so oxygen every cycle. Mm -hmm. Which is not really sustainable for more than one person. I want to see some craziness out here, but I don't like I'm going to get my wish. <laughs> it's just nothing look yeah, different at all? No, I don't think it's made it to the point that I wanted it to, to see this mountain get eight. I mean, it's not going to flatten it, but it's going to get rid of all the stone in it. But I don't think it's made it there yet, that's what it's looking like here. I must have really dreamed about the, the tree bits. <laughs> tree. What, they're not there? No, they're still here, that's what I'm saying. Like, I could have swore I, I saw where it had started taken down the trees or something. Oh, something's happened here. Okay, okay. Something has actually happened. Yeah, it looks like... Okay, yeah, I can see where it's kind of come through here. Okay, so part of... I wonder why it ate that one tree, because the rest of the trees are still here. So I did see. I didn't dream that. <laughs> good to know. Well, yes, good to know you're not entirely crazy. Yeah, just partially. Yeah, just partially. It was better than me, partially crazy. Who, I, nothing's fun if you're not crazy at all. <laughs> I feel like once this this particular quarry ends, we could just stop doing them. <laughs> we can just stop quarrying. Yes. Yeah. I feel like effort. this is this is the last of the quarries. Probably. Maybe. We have a lot of stuff. Have you had a chance to play any more Crackback? I have not at all gotten a chance to play Crackback, uh, which is sad because I'm really gonna I'm gonna get into it. Um, I just have not yet. Uh, a couple reasons I just been God. It's been life has been insanely busy lately. Like again, last night I had to go to the fire station last night, which is not my normal night because they're so short on people. Oh yeah. So that's been taking up like some of my my time as well as I've got a a, a reveal of something that I've been working on for get your the last ready? couple of weeks. Uh, I I do have a beer. <laughs> Wait, no, I, I meant though you but, were. You were working on brewing some beer. Oh, you no, know, uh, so beer was done. Beer's done. The first uh, batch has been drank and delicious. Drank. <laughs> drank and Got delicious. Got drunk. <laughs> um. Um, no, no, that actually, those videos will be coming out soon. I'm actually, I'm really mad at myself because my very last stage of that video, the footage is gone for both the first two brews I did. Why? What happened? Did you delete I, it on I don't accident? know. Uh, I don't know. It was on my phone, um, and it's gone. So I don't know what happened. I have the GoPro footage of it, too, because I had a GoPro set up in the corner mm -hmm. uh, while I was doing it to catch a different angle. So I still have footage of it, but it's funny because half the time you can only see, like, my torso, and I'm talking to a camera that's not the GoPro. <laughs> right. So you can see what happens when I actually get the video together, but I'm not pleased with it. Gotcha. Of that. Have you thought about contacting the NSA and getting their backup? I was, think I was thinking about it. I actually decided to, uh, to call... Um, uh, Apple mm -hmm. and see with them first even though it's not an Apple but they still wouldn't do it oh mm -hmm. they were like even if this was an Apple we would not do it because that's invading customers privacy right 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 they're really sticklers about whatever of course I mean 
got to be right today's day and age of craziness uh, so what's your big reveal uh well i'm not gonna reveal it yet but i've been working oh. on something and it's it's so funny you ever work on something for a long time and it's so stupid and pointless but you're just proud of yourself for it <laughs> yes <laughs> That's pretty. That's pretty much what it is. It's just making something with command blocks and stuff in Minecraft, which I hadn't done in a while. But I got inspired to do something, and uh, it's so pointless. And most people are gonna be like, "What is wrong with you, Jeff?" But I'm proud of it. Okay, so you're basically Seth Bling now. Uh, well, I actually utilized Seth Bling's. I recoded something of Seth Bling's too to make it work. Not because it's anything like what he did, uh -huh. but because he had a base there that I needed to start with. I see. I got gotcha. you. Um, all right, I'm going. I mean, that's all. That's all. Real programming is anyway. Is you take somebody else's start and you make it something else. No, that's not. Well, that's not. Well, okay. I guess you have a compiler, and the compiler is code. But I was gonna say that's not well, completely true. Well, I just mean you don't always start a build from nothing. If you need to have something, say like you know, in my particular thing, I'll, I can reveal what it is. I needed the keyboard. The keyboard that types things with the banners uh -huh. as part of it. I wasn't going to recode that from scratch when it already existed. Right. right. I, I utilized his version of that to do something completely different with it. Gotcha. But I, I mean, like, when you code something, you don't always start with, like, a completely blank screen and go, okay, step one coding, let's go. You're, you're like, okay, let me take the base pieces of other projects I've done, other basic things that are out there put them together, and then start the, the meat and potatoes of what you're doing. Right. The Irish. Yes. That's I don't know. Maybe, maybe you don't do that. Maybe you do everything constantly from the very beginning. But... No. I mean, I mean, a lot of times what it will be is my own code, though. You know, you take your own code. You're like, oh, I've, 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 I've worked this, this project, this part of this project out before. Let me right. Let reuse some of my old code here or whatever. Um, so, yeah, that, that's, that's a lot of it. But yeah, I think every everyone does it. Looks at other people's examples of code and whatnot. Yeah. Oh, and I and when I do things like that, I definitely I always give credit to the the pieces I utilized from other people because mm -hmm. I'm not I'm not gonna be like look, look what I made from scratch. No, that's the bullshit. <laughs> what I did was the cool thing in the middle. Um, I do have other news though. Oh yeah. Yet again, there's a hole in my ceiling. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Yep. <laughs> Yes, sir. Why? What is going hey, on? Hey, I thought it was the, the weekend. I thought it was the the kid the the thing the 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 refrigerator. Yeah, we hoped, but apparently not. You were wrong. Well, you weren't wrong. Uh, I, were wrong. I guess I guess they were wrong. Yeah, I guess so. Because oh, man, so you still don't know then? Nope. No so idea. at this point, you've decided that you need to call a priest, right? Something like that. Well, I'm moving out of this place soon anyway. So okay. Has there is there so has anything been damaged? I mean, I know that they, they grabbed a bucket that had a hole in it, and we're like, oh, we're going to crash all the water in the hole bucket. <laughs> the main damage is to the stuff that's still here that they refuse to replace, which I think is fucked up. That's what I, my um, question, that was my next question. So are they replace? yeah, that's, that is, no. that's bullshit. That really no. is. It, and it smelled, and that's the reason I noticed this time what, it, there was a problem, is because I walked downstairs, and I was like, it smells musty in here again, which is my sign of, uh-oh, something's leaking and getting mm -hmm. the carpet, and... The ceiling. I looked up at the ceiling, and it was just like completely soaked. So, like, this isn't even my problem, but it pisses me off. Oh, it pisses me the hell off too, because my the, the housing car, the management company is, they don't even know our address. They, they, we've had emails that were included on because they're working with, uh, you know, people to come fix all the shit that keeps getting in here, and they'll give them the wrong address, and then tell them we'll correct them, and they'll be like, no, we don't have a house at that address, and we're like, <laughs> really? <laughs> You don't exist, you Jeff. Sure? But you got that cat food. Oh, but they demand the rent. <laughs> I, I, you should tell them there's no one living at this address. <laughs> there is no this address. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you mean. There is this address. We don't exist. exist. Dude, I'd never freaking move out. I wouldn't buy a house and move out if, uh... <laughs> if you'd have to pay rent. You just you just live in the haunted water house. I, I, it'd be worth it for not paying rent. So do you feel like it'd the ghost of it. your house... Like, maybe they lived there and then, like, went and died on the Titanic, Titanic or something like that. Like, what kind of ghost floods a home? Um, that's a good question. I don't know. A, a dick? A dick. A, just a floating <laughs> dick. He was a, it's like, uh, uh, what was, uh, what was Monica? No, not Monica. God, what was the woman that cut the man? Uh, Lorena Bobbitt? Yeah, Lorena Bobbitt. <laughs> you, you, you have, what was her, her man's name? Uh, John Bobbitt. Oh, John. That's a very common name. 
<laughs> Johnson. Johnson Bobbitt. <laughs> <Johnson Bobbitt. laughs> <Johnson. laughs> I mean, it makes sense to me, Johnson Bobbitt, of right. course. All right, totally. I get it. Um, I feel like every time I do this, I'm doing the same exact setup I've done like three different times, now in a different location and hopefully the permanent location. And I every time I stare at it confused, like, what coat was where now? Why? What I? What do? Yeah, what do, what do uh -huh. what 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 do happen? I I don't get. Um, see, I have uh, oxygen. See, the thing is, here's the good. thing. What what is the thing, dude? <laughs> it doesn't take that many trees to get like permanent oxygen. So how do you feel about that? Shh. <laughs> That's how I feel about that. <laughs> I've had the same oxygen running up on my space station forever. Um, but what I hope this is going to do is I'll be able to actually put a Tesseract inside of a, a room. So basically the whole setup will pretty much be a Tesseract and a uh, an oxygen compressor or whatever the one is that uh, fills the fills the room. Which one fills the room? Uh, bubble? No, not, is not the bubble distributor, right? Right, not the bubble distributor. The, um, I don't really actually know, I don't remember what it's called, let me see. Either way, I figure, because then you will never have seals to the outside that you have to get those sealed blocks for. You'll be able to literally have a, like, two by three area that's, okay. or a, yeah. a one, one by three area that you can just put in any room and you have oxygen in that, right. in that room now. Right. You don't have to deal with exposure to the outside world. That's actually pretty smart. Yeah, I hadn't thought of it like that. Yeah. Because then if I, you know, accidentally have to do something because I broke something and my chocobo start, like, dying, I don't have to, like, open up the outside world. Whether it's going to work like that or not, who freaking knows, but... What the fuck is it called? Goal. What the fuck is it called? I don't see I don't it. Know, oxygen. It's not a distributor. It's the one that's a sealer? Oh, sealer. There it is. I just didn't see it. There it is. I found there. Yeah, either either one will work, but yeah. in, in theory with this setup, but... There it's is. a pretty small area, though, right? The sealer does. Sealer? The sealer? Uh, I think it's bigger than the bubble distributor. Right, but it's... I remember you not being satisfied. You yeah, satisfied. I was, it was not a big... It was not as big of an area as I wanted it to be, for sure. Yeah. And I guess that's one thing about the bubble distributor that's nice, is you don't have to worry about it breaking Anything, when you really. go in and out of doors. It's just there and right. running. So I might just do bubbles everywhere. Hmm. What is this not? I don't trust. I don't trust any of it. I think it's all a little buggy, honestly. I mean, I, I the fact that randomly you can come in and it will have no oxygen, even though you have pure oxygen, is kind of scary. I lost another empty oxygen canister, though. It's somewhere in like space time. Continuum. <laughs> oh, you know what? I bet you it's filled, and it's waiting to go to Mars. Yeah, it gets sucked into the, like the tesseract, and if it doesn't have anywhere to go, it just stays there forever until you bring it back out. Hmm. Yeah, I don't. I still don't really understand or know exactly how tesseracts work in regard to their inventory. Like, I think they only hold one item. Like, I, like I had a I had a problem on a grain skies the other day where I had one lead nugget in there and it just broke everything. One lead nugget came in and just ruined everything. Really? Yeah, because it was like. I, nothing else nothing else could go in there because it didn't have a home for that one lead nugget and so it wouldn't take any other inputs until that lead nugget got out of the way why is this not okay this takes my empty ones and sucks them out oh this is supposed to take my liquid O2 and suck it in so I have a question No. go on I, I have an answer it might be wrong but I have it um how did you feel about Amazon Prime Day last year? Did you have so, an opinion? I will tell you, I didn't know anything about Amazon Prime Day until today. Okay, so you didn't know about it last year? No, and, I'm, uh, and I've been a Prime member for years. Oh. Well, you didn't miss out on anything last year. It was nothing but disappointment. Everyone was complaining. No one liked it. It was, it was basically like Amazon took all their junk that no one was buying and were like, hey... Will someone you please this take this shit? We're not even going <laughs> to hey, discount it that much, but will you please, please, just buy it. Just buy it. This year, it's still not very good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's much different than I anticipated you saying. Um, it's better, a little bit, 
I actually bought something this year, but did you look at it this year? Uh, I saw, I looked at a news article that talked about some of the deals that were in there and I was like, okay. So you didn't, you didn't go blow any money? No. All right. Well, Why? <laughs> I was just wondering. I was wondering if you bought anything because you know it's today, today, the day, the day, the day of this recording. Um, so I was just curious if you if you had uh, bought anything. I was hoping to get another TV, but there was no TV to be bought. So what is your? How do how do I put this without sounding really strange? Um, what is your idea of if you were to buy a TV today? If you were to go buy one. What would you buy and for how much money? I feel like TVs have completely drastically changed in what you expect for the price in the last, like, two years. Right. So um, the last time I bought a television, it was a Sony LCD projection. So it was a decent TV, and I paid $5,000 for it. A projection? It's not. It's like not, a DLP projector? No. No, an LCD projection. I just told you what it was. <laughs> but I don't know what an LCD projection. It was. It was at the time. It was. It was pretty fancy. Um, uh, Sony just kind of with a sixty-inch television. Hmm. That was uh, eighteen years ago. No, it was. TV. It was probably fifteen though. Ten. Ten or it was more than ten years ago. Because um, in fact, I just canceled my satellite dish the other day. They're like, "You've been with us eleven years. Uh, why are you canceling?" And I bought the TV before that. Um, so it's a, I think I did at least. I'm pretty sure I bought this TV before the satellite. I may be wrong about that part, but it's it's at least ten years old. It's a really old TV, um, and I have actually stopped using. It. We don't we don't watch that TV, um, so it's in storage right now. To be honest with you, um, but so what? Here's what I want now. I want like a 30 inch TV just to sit in the living room for uh, my daughter to watch PBS on PBS Kids. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, that's what. So you would want something extremely like. I just wanted to have the built-in, um, you know, I don't, I don't have to use the Chromecast or whatever um, to bring in uh, PBS or Netflix. I want to just build in the TV. But that's it. That's all I'm looking for. Uh, I was looking to spend about 200 300 bucks for a TV, tops. Okay. So, what the fuck did I just say that? What is filled? Nothing wrong. Uh, <laughs> I think I messed this up. Um, so that's for because you want specifically want something for your daughter, right? What if, what if you were looking for a TV for yourself right now? Let's say you did watch a lot of TV and you were going to go buy a nice TV. Well, you know, I I I had that sixty inch television, and the rooms in our house are like fifteen by fifteen or whatever, and it was way too big for that room. Um, so I don't feel like I would buy a television as large as the 60 inch television I have before. So I think okay. I would limit myself to something like 45 inches tops, somewhere in that range, 50 inches maybe. Um, but I wouldn't. And what do you think you'd pay? I wouldn't. After buying a five thousand dollar television, I would never do it again because the rate at which the technology is 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 increasing right now, and they're also trying bullshit like, oh, let's let's fucking curve it. No, I don't want it curved. Um, and you know, yeah, I'm not I'm not quite sure about the curve part. I well, don't... according to everyone, everything I've read, it's basically bullshit. Um, but uh, you know, not only that, like the the resolution is changing rapidly. Uh, there's advances in 3D technology, so I wouldn't spend more than. A thousand dollars would probably be my cap, and that's really stretching it because I don't watch enough television to justify it. So it's kind of a hard question for me to answer to because I don't, I'm not, I wouldn't use it. You know what I'm saying? Like if I was if I was into sports or something, I was watching on a regular basis, and I had a larger room than our largest room, I might go back to the 60 inch TV or whatever. Um, like if I had like a studio apartment or something like that, I could see that. And I had friends. Um, that's another thing that I would probably want to have in order to justify it because you want to have someone else to watch the television with you but as you know i could i could get by watching netflix on my monitor right now you know what i'm saying right so yeah i feel like it's it's a little bit different than it used to be or my perspective has changed on it what about you so i, I think it's funny because back in the day i would have spent like the 52 inch that we have upstairs in our living room i didn't buy that no one came with the house um like one of the other roommates had it, but I think that probably cost about 
nine hundred to a thousand dollars when they purchased it like five or six years ago. And I think I can get the exact same TV now for like three fifty. Right. That's how like I feel about my five thousand R TV. Probably. Yeah. Probably. I, I, I just, uh, if I tried I to yard it's... sell it, I would rather just keep it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. I just, I just think it's insane, and that's why a lot of people talk about you know the the stuff that they're looking for especially on like those prime deals you just can't come close to what the standard deals are and that's why i started talking about it because of the amazon prime day you can't come close to the things that people want like as you said tv but i think the people who want the tv that expect this deal are like why didn't i get a 99 dollars 65 inch 3d projection tv <laughs> like right right well i think that's another weird thing um with the amazon deals the only TVs they've had are brands I've never heard of in my life, ever. Like High High Solution or something like that was one of them. I don't remember what the fuck the exact name was, but it was yeah. like I was like, what the who the who who? There's one really big one. The High Sense is one of the big ones now. That's been that's what it was. It, I think it was a High Sense. Yeah, yeah they, I've uh, never heard of that. It's some Chinese. All the reviews uh, were spread. complaining about how bad the tech support is. Like, oh, it doesn't work. And when it didn't work, I called, and it's just a runaround. Like, they had a lot of bad reviews talking about the the customer service. So I don't know. I don't know what the, I didn't. I I if it's not a name I recognize, I'm I'm a little bit weary, and I don't know if that's just me being old or what. But like, you know, I, I want a Sony or a Panasonic or a Samsung or something that I at least know the name of. You know what I mean? I mean, I, I, yeah, I, I'm okay with the off-brands. I have a, I have a TCL, uh, which most people probably have not heard of what a TCL is. Is that uh, the Don't Go Chasing Waterfalls band? It is. It is. It's, uh, it's two of the members switched positions, though. Oh, this right. Well, didn't one like... of them die? And then they started making TVs. Yeah, yeah. Then they started making, <laughs> well, I mean, they, they, but there must have been an extra guy because they were TLC, then they became TCL to make the TVs. It's their like subsidiary brand. Gotcha. You know that's you know right. what, they, what they would when the music career slowed down, they, they started the TV, TV business, business, and, uh, <laughs> business, and it was and it was good to go. Um, but uh, TCL and I did my research on this because it was cheap like eight or so years ago. I bought it for three hundred bucks for a thirty or a forty-two inch TV, which is super freaking cheap back at that point. But it was because it's this off-brand that nobody wanted. And I did my research and found out that it's like a rebranded LG. Screen. Huh. Okay. Um, so you get a lot of that. Hisense, I don't believe, is necessarily that, per se. But A lot of people were saying they were refurbished televisions, uh, other brands that had been refurbished. So they would buy the parts of broken televisions, fix them, and then rebrand them, is what the comments were saying. Again, this is all, this is like if you believe the things you read on the internet. So. Right. And, and, that, and I do believe, especially with, with more and more information that's out there, there's more and more misinformation, yeah, which makes it sure. very difficult. I just yeah. like got myself stuck. Um, it's kind of so, like any time you try to read a news article now, it's all about you know what everyone's saying on Twitter or Facebook. It's like that's not fucking news. You're not. This is not journalism. Um, we're also out of time, Jeff. So did, oh, whatever you wanted to say, like, was that relevant to this conversation? No, okay. <laughs> not at all. All right. Well, we'll see you guys next time. See ya.